YouTubers, my name is Kyle Matthew Hamilton. I professionally skate for Shut Skateboards here in New York City. We are currently at the infamous Central Park Band Shell, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a rolling handstand flip. Now, if you guys wanna work on a rolling handstand flip trick, you need to focus on three things. One, having strong wrists. Two, having core strength and flexibility. And three, knowing donkey kicks. Now, whenever you're gonna be starting off, you really need to focus on just learning how to do a handstand first and foremost, and not even on your skateboard. You need to focus on doing a handstand off the board. I really recommend doing it in the grass, at home on a rug, or if you can, and it's available in a gymnastics studio where it's safe and you have an instructor with you. Now, whenever you're working on a handstand, whenever you learn how to pop into a handstand, you need to learn how to make sure that your core is super tight and you have a flat back and you're as straight as possible. You don't want to focus on doing a handstand and letting your legs flop over what we call spidering. It's really sloppy and it's more dangerous for you, especially if you're going to be trying to do a handstand on your skateboard because you might flip over and you might get seriously injured. So whenever you're building up the strength for your handstands, do a lot of push-ups, do a lot of pull-ups. Focus on building up your upper strength as well as your biceps, your triceps, and all the muscles around your wrists, especially if you're going to be using those wrists to flip the board. Now, if you're gonna start doing them on your skateboard, start off doing them stationary, you know? Do it in the grass, do it on a rug in your living room. Do it in a safe, secure place, but don't do a rolling yet, because if you don't know how to do a rolling, you're just not gonna learn how to do them properly. Now, whenever you're starting to do them, learn how to focus first and foremost whenever you're on the board, just holding out a straight handstand. And whenever you get to the handstand, think about having two giant fish hooks hooked into your toes and pulling you up to the sky. So you have that straight alignment whenever you're on the board. Then afterwards, what you wanna focus on is the donkey kicks, which pretty much means if you're gonna be on the board and you're gonna do it stationary, do the handstand on the board and don't worry about flipping out of it just yet. Do the handstand and then focus on donkey kicking out, so kicking out of the board and landing back on top of the board. So when you guys are skateboarding and you're focusing on flipping up into a handstand while you're rolling, there's two different ways you can practice on doing this. One, it's just running with the board and then flipping up into the handstand. Or two, it's actually skateboarding while your feet are on the board and flipping up into the handstand from the board, which are both really hard to do. However, that's where the lower back and the core flexibility and strength comes into play. Because properly, we all wanna see somebody just rolling and then flip into the handstand. We don't wanna some, see some person running and then flip into the handstand from there. Now, so you guys know how to pop into a handstand. You guys know how to hold the handstand out. You know how to flip out of the handstand. And the last thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you're gonna focus on doing a handstand flip out, this is where the forearm strength comes into play. You need to practice on just doing finger flips. Don't even worry about doing a handstand. Just focus on doing the finger flips with your hands, using your wrists. So, if you guys are righties out there, or if you're a lefty, build up the strength for both arms equally. Once you have that, the donkey kick will come into play. You'll be able to flip the board easier, land back on the board, and you've got a rolling handstand flip. But guys, it is practice, practice, practice. So guys, keep practicing on these handstand tricks and find inspiration on the internet from other people. Look up other gymnasts, look up other skateboarders, people like Russ Howell, Daryl Grogan, or Killian Martin. Dudes who have fantastic handstands that you can learn from and help you know influence your own skateboarding. So if you have any questions, leave questions in the comment box. Or if you want to as well, like and share us. But we appreciate you guys watching. Whoa. I hope you guys like that trick tip as much as I do because that one was great. I'm not going to tell Kyle, but it's better than mine. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions or comments, like he said, put them down there in the comment box below. You should definitely go check out Kyle's skateboarding. I will post links down there. And, yeah, go out there, try handstand flips yourself. Don't get hurt. If you do, don't sue anyone because that's stupid, you know trying to sue someone for getting hurt doing something that you know is dangerous. Just go out there and try it. Have fun. If you land it, you know, you can comment and say, whoa, I landed it, and post a video and tell me to go there, and I'm sure Kyle will go check it out too. So, 
go check out his skateboarding, go try a handstand flip, and have fun. Thank you for tuning in.